As a climax to their 42nd anniversary celebration of scouting in America, Boy Scouts in San Francisco lend their motto, Be Prepared. To the My name is Kevin Albee. I'm an alumni from Grand Valley State University. So I major in information systems with a minor in business. My name is Jason Gant. I'm majoring in film and video with a minor in business administration. Well, I'd actually originally joined the Cub Scouts first when I was younger. Fourth grade, I believe. I think my parents had just kind of introduced the idea, and I also had a few friends that were joining, so I figured I might as well. I believe I was 10 years old when I joined because back when I was a child, my father tried to get me into the Cub Scouts because he wanted me to be a part of something that was active and in the community. When I left Cub Scouts, I joined the Boy Scouts. I stayed with them till I was 18 years old. I originally started Boy Scouts in my, I believe the summer before my freshman year of high school. And I believe I completely finished around the summer of my sophomore, junior year. So I want to say it took about three or four years altogether. I've not worn my uniform since my Eagle ceremony, so it's been a while. I don't see that changing anytime soon. I'm still active with my old troop, Troop 409. And I'm always asked by my scoutmaster to wear the uniform for the other scouts, just to encourage them to actually wear the uniform during important events like meetings or community service. And actually during certain events, because I'm actually at, I had to play baseball during high school. During my sophomore year, I was asked to play for the um, all-star team. And they also requested that not only do I play in the game, but I also go onto the field in my uniform and lead the uh, Star Spangled Banner with them. When I applied for Grand Valley, one of the very first things I threw on there was that I was an Eagle Scout. And then after that, about two days later, I got an application letter. And then when I finally got into Grand Valley, I met with my advisor and she actually read that I was an Eagle Scout and she was very impressed. She actually told me that probably one of the main reasons why they hired me was, wasn't just because of my grades or because of my essay, it was also because thanks to the Eagle Scout rank, I actually proved that I was dedicated, I can actually do the work, and I will finish what I started. I don't think it helps out so much for the application process, but I do remember specifically for Grand Valley, that they do have a portion where you have to fill out kind of talking about diversity in your life, so I feel like some of my experiences from Boy Scout did give me some things to talk about for that. This past year I've kind of been having like an issue um, and um, I've been kind of struggling recently and maybe it wasn't the best thing for me you know to run off to camp but um, I just want to say that I'm gay and I'm not really you know sure what to do or you know, no, no. You, should, you know you, once you tell me that I understand and quite honestly, as far as I'm concerned, your lifestyle is your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. has nothing whatsoever to do with the way I look at an individual or the way I judge one. Mm -hmm. However, by telling me what you just told me, it automatically takes you on the program. Mm -hmm. I wish you hadn't done that. Have you ever told um, anyone the scouts that you were bisexual? I had not. That wasn't really something I dealt with until after high school, so that wasn't really something that affected my personal scouting. I mean, I think it's great that they're doing that. So it probably should have been something that was done a while ago, but I think it's a good sign that they're finally kind of taking these steps to be more inclusive and open-minded to these kind of topics and issues. When I joined the Already Arrow, which is considered the Boy Scouts National Honor Society, I would go to a weekly meeting with them to talk about events, what was going on in the Boy Scout community, and any way we could contribute. And there was this one scoutmaster who was there. We were talking about what he did when he was a Boy Scout, what um, I was going to do with being a Boy Scout, and somehow the topic of being bisexual or gay came up. And he told me directly that not only was it um, not allowed, but he also completely agreed that it should not be allowed. Because he considered himself a Catholic, and he was gung-ho on saying that homosexuality was a crime against God. And since um, the Boy Scouts not only um, try to inspire not only cultural beliefs or um, patriotism, but also religious beliefs. He believed that was something that the Boy Scouts should hold true to.
You could be a Buddha, you could be Catholic, you could be pretty much anything as long as you believed in some form of higher power. And me, personally, I believe that that policy should be changed because one of the main things I love about Boy Scouts is that we're diverse. We normally accept everybody, regardless. However, I do still hear a little bit of gossip through the grapevine that some troops have actually been disbanded because they secretly allowed an atheist or a gay person into their troop and they were forced to um, break up the whole entire troop. And some of them, either they had to go find a new troop to join or they were not allowed to join another troop. It was usually the um, scout masters because they are the ones in charge of their troop. And if they knowingly allowed this, then they were kicked out. Boy Scouts and attaining the Eagle rank and everything that came with that was something I really benefited from. So I would say the most beneficial thing would be that I not only learned how to um, take care of myself, it also helped me in first aid. Two years ago, me and my father, we were in a car crash. Me and my father were fine, but there was a woman in the other car and she actually passed out. We didn't know what was wrong with her. We actually found out that she had a broken arm. We made a very quick broken bone um, splint from two pieces of wood that we had in our car and our own clothing. And we pretty much try our best to keep her warm until the ambulance showed up. That's probably the one time I was actually incredibly happy that um, Boy Scouts taught me something useful that I could bring into um, my everyday life and actually use during important situations. I'd definitely at least consider in the future if you have a son, maybe letting them join as well. I think maybe if I have my own son one day, I'd probably try and get him to join. So if that happens, I'd probably be more involved. On my honor, I will do my best to guide my country, to obey scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. What's so funny? What's so funny? Do you, do you ever feel conflicted or judged about being in, a boy, in the Boy Scouts as a bi male? That trick question? <laughs> <laughs> but okay, but so no, don't worry, I got an answer for this one, okay? I got one for this. <laughs> okay, first let me go on record that I am not bi, okay? I'm heterosexual and I'm proud of it. <laughs> But actually, this one boy, we went to a camp out up in Canada, and he actually told us that he was, as a matter of fact, gay. However, he never told anyone outside of his troop. He knew that it was against Boy Scout policy to have anyone who was gay, whether they be adult or a child, join the troop. And he said it wasn't necessarily a bad thing with his troop because almost everybody knew, just that no one really cared as long as they never reported him to anybody higher up, it was never a problem. <laughs>